Hey guys, first I want to thank everyone for the thoughts and the prayers and everything. Um, this video is going to be short and sorry it's loud, but we're not going to have electricity for three to nine weeks. So it was, they were saying four to six weeks, four to nine weeks, uh, and that's most of southwest Louisiana. Um, so we all have, well not we all, but many of us have generators <laughs> trying to run a few appliances and uh, that's what you're hearing in the background. But um, I wanted to make sure and tell everybody, give an update because um, so many people have been asking. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, it, I mean, it's hard. We, <laughs> we still have our windows boarded up to keep the house cool. Um, I mean, it's a, it's a total mess here. Uh, just, actually, let's go walk out to the road. And just, you'll just see just the um, mess of people, uh, you know, cleaning up and stuff like that. The trees, they're everywhere. They, um, everywhere you go here, it's just, <laughs> it's such a mess. But you can see kind of behind me right here, maybe you can see all those piles. Those are just piles of trees everywhere. Um, and used to, you could pretty much not see anyone's houses because everyone had fences, but we no longer <laughs> really have any fences in the neighborhood. Uh, or you got like half, half fence, which is kind of good getting to know the neighbors, even though I've been here for a while. Some of them are kind of snobby, just saying. <laughs> but you can see over here, that used to be a fence right there. It's still laying on the ground. Um, some people still haven't came back yet uh, for one reason or the other. They haven't been able to make it back or they just don't have a generator or whatever the case may be. I mean, what, a lot of people aren't back. They're staying at hotels or whatever. But it's, it's a big mess. But we are making it through and oh i saw the fires going on in california it's horrible it's pretty biblical what's going on honestly i think a lot of people are seeing that so make sure well you couldn't really see anything behind me i saw that whenever i was editing this so here's some of my old neighborhood <laughs> it's so bad but i don't want to just show you bad things let's check out some of the good things cooking outside <laughs> enough for the entire neighborhood practically um, and we're feeding tons of people at the church and I'm actually going to make a video making some laundry, laundry detergent and some other things that y'all can stay tuned for that would be very helpful if you're ever in this situation that um, there's a lot of people in need of a lot of things so we are giving those out at the church but anyway and we're not just giving them out to our church people, to anyone. They line up for lunch, breakfast, lunch, and dinner practically. Yeah, and we give them, you know, we're cooking out and everything. And we even had church service last night in a tent. It was actually freezing in there. They had a good system they hooked up with this generator and this air flow thing. I don't know, but it was freezing in there. So anybody that's still like, oh, we can't have church service because of Corona. Well, they're just silly. We had a great time. Um, it was full. I took these pictures prior to church service. <laughs> taking my laundry down off the line and I will hopefully talk to y'all soon we just got internet back well we have it for now uh, it, it's it's very slow it's very in and out but um, I will try to keep y'all updated and again thanks again for all the thoughts and prayers y'all have a wonderful night bye guys this is actually the church after the damage part of it and just some people lost everything and that's why we're getting so many supplies and people without electricity, they can't cook. So we're doing the big barbecues and everything and then helping people get certain supplies. So if you would like to donate, that would be absolutely amazing. Here's a little drive through of the town my parents live in. 
where I grew up. Um, it's just a complete disaster. But um, people are in need of a lot of things, and FEMA is completely screwing up everything, like always. That's why I kind of find it funny when people are like, FEMA's going to lock us up in cages. FEMA can't even control a hurricane disaster. Let me just tell you, anybody that's been through a disaster knows that FEMA is not as capable as we give them credit for. <laughs> Would they love to be able to control everything? Of course. But do they? Absolutely not. They're too worried about funneling money from one big corporation to another or some crazy crap behind the scenes. They just like people to talk about that kind of stuff to keep people scared. But it, it's not FEMA helping people. I mean, they, they're around, but... Let's be honest, it's the small businesses, it's the churches, it's mainly the churches that are helping people. And that's another thing, you know, people talk about churches and, oh, you don't really need a church. Oh, that's just all of these things. During a disaster, I promise you, you will start thinking otherwise. Because practically the only people handing out food and supplies are these small hometown churches. No, not the mega churches. I don't, we don't have any mega churches, but as we saw in Houston and New Orleans and all these other places, it's never the mega churches. But we all know that. But these small town churches absolutely do everything when it comes to all of this. So, you know, I just have a lot of people that are always saying that, oh, I don't need to go to a church and I just read my Bible, whatever. Well, there's other reasons for having churches, and that's part of what the church is supposed to do. It, it's supposed to be there for the community, um, helping and doing without expecting anything in return. And that's just what we are to do as Christians. And I think a lot of people forget that because, what, you know, it's understandable. So many of the churches have become complete abominations but that doesn't mean all of them y'all um, and that's why when people ask me you know well, what kind of church should I attend always I always say an independent small hometown church always um, obviously a biblical <laughs> church but um, never a mega church the even the ones that seem that like they're good, they're usually very... You, you can't make it to the top of anything without being controlled in some form or fashion. Um, and we see that with John MacArthur. I know people don't like to hear that, but um, that's just a fact. You don't become a mil... You, you should... Okay, I'm not going to go on, on a tangent, but uh, I just wanted to talk through this... Uh, this destruction zone. But anyway, y'all have a wonderful day. Like, share, and subscribe.